What was that? Yeah. These spinal hens are the ones you don't really want, and we want the ones by the water. These ones are bracken fern. You can eat some of them, but you don't want to eat a whole whack load of them. Looking up on the internet, what bracken, <laughs> bracken fern. They're not the best spinal hen to eat. We tried a few of them, they're not bad. The other ones do taste better too. Ostrich fern, I think. Mm -hmm. And they're, they like the water. Where we were, I'm not sure if we can eat them ones or not. I was trying to look into it, but I need to learn more about my ferns. No mushrooms. Well, we found a few little tiny, little brown mushrooms. Um, trying to remember the name. It's not the inky cat. They're tiny and they're usually toxic. I think it's inkoby something. It's usually one that people don't study because they're kind of toxic. But you see them all over, so I kind of want to learn more about them. We haven't, uh, we didn't do a video on that one, though. Not yet. They're all summer. But we get many different microclimates here. This is a hot, sandy area. Berries are out here. Uh, bears. <laughs> the ferns. But we have, I haven't seen one back here in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, there's not very many bear around. In the fall, they start getting hungry, and the little baby bears, being a year or two, they don't really know what to eat. So they go after easy food because they don't have their skills developed yet. So that easy food is your bird feeder, your garbage, your cat food you accidentally left at the front door. <laughs> that was mine. I looked out the window in the, the kitchen door and there was a bear eating the cat food in the middle of the night. That was not no snarling cat. I did not open the door. <laughs> I'm glad he went away. No problem. But my brother in a more bear dominated area, he had them come right in while he was at work and uh, take everything out of his fridge yeah. and put it all over the house. Like when bears come to eat your food, they're not eating it all, they're throwing a lot of it around. <laughs> Wrecking your place. <laughs> Way up north, they like having these uh, bear sticks outside the windows and doors. So two when nobody's fours. in there, there are spikes and nails. Two by fours with uh, nails in them. Yeah. Or plywood. Yeah, plywood with nail. Nail sticking up so they don't want to get their nail, their foot poked. And they don't try to break your door now and then. <laughs> 